Yo, what's good? I'm LaVert. This is D-Rich. This is the Real Talk Sports Show. Welcome to week three. We're here at a rivalry game between Glenville and Cleveland St. Ignatius, which has state implications as well as national implications for St. Ignatius, who comes in a perfect 5-0 while Glenville is at 4-1. D. Rich, you want to give us your keys to the game tonight? Well, the key for Glenville is they're, they're going to have to come out here tonight and run the ball and play hard in those defense. And honestly, I don't think they can run the ball on Cleveland, staying in the nations, man. This is, this is a hard nosed defense, you know. And Glenville always relies on the big play. You know, they're always looking for the deep ball. And they're not going to be able to do that tonight. They're going to have to come out here and run the ball. And I don't think they can do it. I honestly don't think they can do it, but they might make it happen. And for St. Nations, they know what it takes. They play big teams week in and week out. So th th this, is, this is nothing new for them. Yeah, that's true. Uh, St. Ignatius losing eight starters on defense this past season. But they don't seem to have missed the beat as their perfect 5-0. and While on the other end, Glenville has several stars, including Lattimore, a wide receiver slash kick returner who is, is excellent. But we're going to see if they can get past the big play syndrome tonight. D. Rich, you want to tell us who's going to be the impact players? Well, the impact players is, like you said before, Marshawn Lattimore. I, I watched this kid on film. He lines up at wide receiver, de defensive back, running back. He does it all. And Christopher Worley, he's going to have to lead that team at outside linebackers tonight on the defensive side of the ball. He has to be all over the field tonight. All right. And for Ignatius? I, I can't disrespect St. Ignatius like that, man. It, it would be an asinine statement for me to make a comment about one of their players being a star because they are, they are a well-oiled machine out here, man. They, they do everything perfect. You know, it's almost 100 people on the team, it seems like, and they, they do everything perfect, man. They come out even, even for warm-ups, man, in the NFL, NFL type of team, man. <laughs> that's true. That's true. St. Ignatius is well put together, but I am going to mention quarterback LeManning and uh, running back Timothy McVay have hooked up for 26 touchdowns this season, 14 touchdown passes by LeManning. But true, they are a complete team. So, D. Rich, lastly, lastly, who you picking tonight? Man, I would go with Glenville. I would go with Glenville, but they rely too much on the big play. St. Ignatius, it's hard to go against them. It's hard to go against them because they play great teams week in and week out. So I'm going to have to go with St. Ignatius, man. But if Glenville comes out here and they can somehow find a way to run the ball, they probably can get it done because they have the athletes to get it done. But I'm going with St. Ignatius. There you have it. So we're getting ready to get into the game. We got the number one team in the state against the number 10 team in the state. St. Ignatius Glenville. This is the Real Talk Sports Show. LaVert, D. Rich, keep it real.
October 4th from 5 What's up? It's Lavert D. Rich. It's the Real Talk Sports Show. We're here in the fourth quarter of the Cleveland Glenville St. Ignatius game, where it appears that St. Ignatius has begun to run away with the game. D. Rich, let us know what's going on tonight, man. Well, it, it goes back to what I said before. Glenville relies too much on the big plays. They saw a couple of big plays go their way, but later on in the game, St. Ignatius, you know, they they got together and started making plays on defense, and they they, they shut the Glenville offense down. They couldn't get anything in the whole second half. They, they tried to go with the deep ball all game. We saw that. Every every possession, they tried to throw the ball on fourth down, deep downfield, and it's not going to work. And Glenville, I'm so disappointed in y'all because y'all do not have a kicker. Y'all recruit all this talent, but yet y'all cannot get a, tick, a kicker. You know, but Marshawn Lattimore and, and Christopher Worley, they the real deal. They're not overrated. Those two guys are the real deal. Yeah, yeah. We seen a lot out of those guys tonight. 
But uh, Glenville, again, they were unable, unable to establish a running game, and uh, they did try to go for the deep ball a lot. The lack of a kicking game seems to hurt them tonight. D. Rich, if you had to pick an impact player, what's the impact player for San Ignatius that stood out for you tonight? McVay, the running back. Three touchdowns, man. This kid broke broke tackles. They thought they had him wrapped up. He broke tackles. I saw him. We saw him hurdle. Hurdle dude right there in the end zone, man. That was crazy, man. That, that's the ESPN top ten play, man. I'm going to send that in. McVay is the uh, player of the game by far. No doubt. Once again, we're in the middle of, a, of the fourth quarter where the game is not even over. But once again, we decided it's never too early to report on a blowout like this. It's Levert, D. Rich, The Real Talk Sports Show. Keep it real.